Hi everyone, Mike here from Journey's End, and um, I'm going to be explaining our Merlot 2016. Um, so this is our V2 Merlot, um, which uh, forms part of our uh, vineyard varietal range. Um, the wine's made up 100% of Merlot grapes that are picked off the farm, and everything at Journey's End is hand-picked. Um, these grapes come predominantly off the top of the farm, so largely on decomposed granite soils. Um, and we are completely surrounded, well, these vineyard blocks are completely surrounded by eucalyptus uh, plantations or blue gum plantations. Um, we also do a lot of beekeeping on the farm um, and there's a lot of a sort of uh, cross-pollination effect between the bees um, who go into the vineyards, but also your blue gum trees extract a really uh, strong type of oil into the soils. Um, which tend to give our Merlots a slight green note. Um, I'm not remotely worried about uh, green notes in Merlot where a lot of winemakers can um, have that tendency. Um, I think it adds something a little bit more sort of elegant to the wine and makes the wine a little bit more interesting. Um, but yeah, in terms of the way we treat our Merlot, um, it comes in hand-picked into the cellar. It then undergoes a, a five or six day uh, pre-fermentation cold soaking which is when we keep the temperature of the, um, the juice and the grapes at uh, really, really cold temperatures to prevent any spontaneous fermentation um, from the natural yeast that are present inside the mixture. Um, post this pre-fermentation cold soak, we will uh, lift the temperature up on the tank and initiate fermentation. And our fermentation generally goes on for between 8 and 15 days, um, depending on uh, the block or um, the yeast that we're actually using in the fermentation. Um, after that, uh, we do malolactic fermentation also in stainless steel tanks before um, subjecting the wine to about an 18 month barrel maturation period. Um, we're using 5% new uh, American oak on um, the entirety of the blend and 20% new French oak. Um, uh, the remainder well, the remainder um, of the barrels come from second and third full French oak barrels. Um, so yeah, in this wine you're going to pick up uh, a lot of your sort of blueberry type of characters, uh, a little bit of black currants, a little bit of your plummy sort of characters as well. And then there's an element of, of uh, sort of greenness uh, that accompanies the wine. I wouldn't say it overpowers the wine by any stretch of the imagination, but really does add a different element into the wine, which makes this um, hugely interesting um, and unique. So I hope everyone enjoys.